Welcome back to Angular JS tutorial series part 11. My name is Nisha Singla and in this video we will learn about ngif directive. ngif is built in Angular JS directive for adding and removing content from DOM. ngif is extremely handy for showing and hiding content on the page. ngif like most built in directive relies upon evaluating expression as true or false. So in the case of ngif, if the expression evaluates false, it removes the element from the DOM entirely. And if it return true, the elements get recreated. So let's see an example for the same. Flip to your editor and for this demo, I have already set up the basic file structure. In the part 11, I have index.html file. This is the main file and in this file, I have already included my Angular script and one more script app.js and app.js will hold the module and a controller that I have referred in index.html using ng app for my module and ng controller for my controller and here I have already created a div in this div you can put any HTML element that you want to show or hide as of now I have put a simple paragraph that I want to show or hide now I need to create one checkbox that will show or hide my div. So let's create a checkbox here. Input type checkbox. And here the model will be determined by the scope. So here I'm just simply creating ng model is equals to show div. And the value of show div will come from scope. So initially I'm binding this scope here show div and by default I'm giving its value to false. So a simple click on this checkbox should show or hide my div. So I need to check whether the value of show div is true or false. So for that you can use ngif directive and here I'll check the value show div. So now save the changes and check it on your browser. Initially the value of show div here in the scope is false. So by default ng if is equals to false. So it will not display my div. Now once user will click on this checkbox, the value will turn to true. So at that time my container div will be visible. Now open your developer tool by pressing F12 and move to the elements tab and check here. Here this div is created. So now once you uncheck this checkbox, the div will entirely remove from the DOM as well. Now when you check on this checkbox, the div will create in the DOM. In the previous video, we have learned one more directive ng show that also used for the same reason to show the content on the basis of the expression. If expression evaluates to true, it will display the content. If the expression returns to false, it will hide the content. So if you didn't cover it yet, click on the link below. So both ng show and ng if as of now doing the same thing. So what's the difference between ng if and ng show? If you talk about ng show, it shows the DOM using CSS property. But behind the scene, when you check it in the DOM, the element is still there. But if you talk about ng if, ng if not working on just hiding and showing on the basis of CSS property. It entirely creating or removing that element from the DOM. So now as you know the differences, we will think how it will affect my application and which one we should use. So to make it more clear, Angular use a digest loop to watch for the changes in the application to make changes in viewer model for two-way data binding. So watches are expensive from performance point of view. By removing element from DOM, you remove all the watchers on those elements and having few watchers in the application generally allow it to run faster. So that's why you need to use ngif rather than using ngshow. So now we can say ngif is a useful directive for adding and removing content on the page. This is all for ngif. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.